to show you how to use the Vistaprint site builder uh, to lay out your um, e-commerce products. So first thing we need from Shop Integrator is the master shop script. So this in itself will be invisible on the final page. However, uh, we're going to put it right at the bottom because even when we do put it in, it's invisible. It can still take up some space, so <laughs> might introduce the space in the wrong part. So let's just put it right at the bottom here. Click on the extras, and we need to scroll down to the handy HTML widget. Paste that in there. Okay, so we're going to shrink that. It's, it's at the bottom, so it's not really going to be noticeable. Anymore. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to uh, I'd like to have an image here and then maybe my e-commerce button next to it and I'm going to have some text about the product and underneath. So uh, what we need to do is we need to use the, the tables to, to give us the, um, the layout that uh, we want. So I'm going to choose basically we just want two columns, I want two holders, one for the picture, one for my e-commerce button. I'm just going to have the one row for this. Um, I don't want any fill colors and I don't want any borders, I just want the, the different compartments. So I'm going to say okay, so I've got two different compartments now. So I'm going to put the image in here, so click images. I already have an image of a brace that I've uploaded, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to shrink that down a little bit to give me room for my, my button or the text that I want for the image, whatever I'm going to put in. But I'm going to put a button in. So now I'm going to click in the other compartment, and we're going to have our um, interactive buy now price tag. So again, we want to come to the extras, extras, because we're going to copy and paste in the shop integrator e-commerce button as a handy HTML widget. So come down to your handy HTML widgets, paste in the sell item buy now, which will create our buy now button and the other parts of the e-commerce add-in, such as the price. Okay, now by default it creates it as this sort of narrow, thin square. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to save that, I'm going to preview it to show you what that means. So that that bounding box, that square, is like having a, a much smaller picture frame on a much larger picture. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing the content now. It'll only show you this now as slice. However, actually, for the Shop Integrator e-commerce plugin, there is a lot more to it, which is why we're not seeing the button. So if I close that, what we can do is we can come back to to this. And by clicking these drag points here, we can change the space of this picture frame, as it were, to be much larger. So now we're actually going to be able to see the full content of the um, Shop Integrated E-Commerce plugin now, now that we've made the, the frame a lot bigger on the, the page. So if I save that again, click Preview. see that now um, we see the full content of that shop integrator e-commerce uh, button so instead of it just being cropped to this sort of space we're now seeing the whole area um, so the the look of this content the button the fonts the colors here what shows up that's all controlled from your shop integrator admin console appearance manager so what's inside these boxes is where your shop integrator appearance manager comes in uh, for controlling the look. So I'm going to close that because I also want to add some checkout control buttons like a view cart and a checkout button. So I'm going to use another extras handy HTML widget. Now, I want these 
buttons side by side. So instead of using two custom HTML widgets, I'm just going to put my two shopping integrated e commerce buttons side by side. So there's the first one, this show view basket control, that'll be my view cart button. And next to it, I'm going to put another, the other button, the, the, the checkout button, the show view, the show checkout control. So they're side by side in the same custom HTML. We don't have to have separate custom HTML widget blocks. So you see again, it's the same sort of narrow slice. So if the buttons are cropped on the um, on the final web page, we can come back and adjust that's that uh, that box, that frame size, to, to give us to show us all the content. But I actually know that um, th this will show the buttons. We'll see. But it's it's below my products title, which actually you know I wanted it above that. So if you click in that box in the Vistaprint box um, and hold the mouse button down, it allows you to drag that up, and we get this uh, little tag here where it wants to place it. So I'm going to place that above the products title. Now the only thing I'm left to do is um, below my image, below my button, I'm going to write something about this product. This is a lovely bracelet. And you can put whatever you want there about the product. So now when I save this, I'm going to preview the page again. So here is the final page. Um, as you see, that that master shop script is is invisible. So it's a, that's probably best to have it at the bottom, so it doesn't take any space. I've got my view cart and checkout buttons side by side because they're in the same handy HTML widget, um, and I didn't have to change the size of it because that it was large enough to show these buttons. If these buttons were cropped, then I would have gone back in and adjusted the size. So now I can click the buy now button. The buy now will add the item to the cart and launch the checkout process straight away. I can close the checkout process and I can use one of these buttons then to open it again. So here the view cart now I can change the quantity of items, maybe I'll have two of those. Uh, remove it. Continue the checkout and move all the way through. 